الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين If we want to be successful in self-refrainment we should consider something, some point, some important things First of all is God's remembrance God's remembrance is not only saying God's name by our mouth. Also, it is important. We should say and speak about it. If we want to remember God well, it is better we go in a places that God's name has been recited there, or people call God there, pray to God there, including the mosques. Mosques is one of the important and very valuable places Inside of it, Allah names has recited much, has remembered much, has been remembered much. Because of this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, وَرْكَعُوا مَعَ الرَّاكِئِينَ Bo with those who bow, pray, God, pray, pray to God with the people. Praying in community with people, Cause Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show his mercy to us much. He said that in order we remember God, it is better we go to the places Allah names, Allah words are recited, are remembered there much, including the mosques. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, the people who desire their home, their house to be heaven, they should now in the world should go to the mosque much as if the mosque is their home. So those who consider the mosque as their home, it means they go for praying there, for morning prayer, for both prayer, for maghrib prayer, for five time prayers they pray in the mosque and sometimes they go and participate in the ceremonies. You know, as if the mosque is their home. It doesn't mean the believer should give up other works and all the time live in the mosque. No. It means going to mosque should be important to him. So this is a kind of remembering God's. Other steps to self-purification, it is istaaza. It means taking refuge asking God to prevent us, to keep us from the, keep us safe from the evil deeds. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as an almighty, all wise, all power can do everything. So we as, we as a believer, we should seek Allah help in this path. Without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help, we can do nothing. So we ask him to help us. Allah says in Quran, "Gul Rabbi, a'uzu bika min hamazat al-shayatin wa a'uzu bika Rabbi an yahzurun." Allah Subhanahu wa Taala teach to His Prophet, teach to His messengers in Quran that, "Oh, my Prophet says that I take my God's refuge. I ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala help me, protect me, help me to resist against." They will Satan's temptations because <clears throat> it, is, it is dangerous that Satan's attend and come and deceive us. So in all the time, we should seek and ask Allah helps. Seeking Allah helps means that in somehow that we shouldn't go to the places in a situation that people commit sins. So, we should avoid from the sinful situation.